Hi everyone, it's Chris speaking. Welcome or welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you about something I don't think gets talked about enough, and that is this idea of not being excited for things in your transition. Now I apologise, I am staying at my parents' house and they are on a main road, so there may be a little bit of background noise. I've tried to um, put the mic up as close as I can. Also, lighting sucks, so sorry about that. Um, now, the reason I want to talk about this is, one, because it doesn't get talked about enough, this idea that you don't have to be super excited and super stoked for things in your transition. Uh, also, the narratives that we see on YouTube tend to be um, either young people or people that are really, really excited for uh, these moments. Um, and I'm talking about getting on hormones, I'm talking about the name change, I'm talking about top surgery. Um, and that's not everyone's experience. So I think it is important to add another experience into the mix when you are talking about those things. Now, I am going to be talking about my own experience. I don't expect other people to have exactly the same experience as I have. I just want to give you another view. Personally, I wasn't super excited, nor have I been super excited to go on hormones, to get my name changed, and even top surgery. There are pockets of time or snippets of time when I am really excited, and anyone who's sort of talked to me in the last couple of weeks knows that I haven't shut up about top surgery. It is all I can talk about. And maybe that's excitement in a different way, but to me, I don't feel overly excited, nor did I feel overly uh, excited about going on hormones. Yes, when I got signed off, on hormones and the doctor said we'll start you on testosterone how long do you need that was an exciting moment and I felt this giddy um, nervous excitement inside of me and it bubbled up and it was a really happy moment and I'm very very glad that it happened but I wasn't super excited up until that point I wasn't super excited to start putting it on it was more nerves there was nerves and there was fear and there was a little bit of excitement but it wasn't this Oh my God, this is such an amazing moment. This is what I've been waiting for my whole life. Um, remembering that I was 27, 27 when I started on hormones. And it wasn't, I'd lived a life. I'd lived a life up until that point. So getting on hormones, although it was exciting for, for that initial, yes, you're going on hormones, then doing it, and doing it every day and you know I still want to get up and I want to put on tea and I don't want to stop nor do I have plans to stop doing it my dysphoria wasn't as bad that I couldn't live without doing it I'm much happier now but I guess I want to talk about that excitement that wasn't there and it's okay to not be excited and the reason that I wasn't excited about it or not as excited as people portray it to be is because to me it just feels like something that has to happen. And the same thing happened with my name change. I wasn't super stoked that I went through the process. It was just something I felt like I had to do. It felt like something that should have been done already and it, it was something that was always meant to be. And when I got the letter in the mail to tell me that my name had been changed, that was a moment of relief. It was like, oh, Okay, well, it's official. I've always been more comfortable as Chris rather than my birth name. So it was just something that was meant to be. Now, coming up to top surgery, um, by the time you guys see this video, I'll probably be about a week post-op. I'm not super excited to go into top surgery. I can't shut up about it. I'm very nervous about it. And I'm nervous about the fact that I've never had a procedure done before. I've never been un under anesthesia before. Um, I'm scared. I'm scared of going into it and I, I'm nervous about the recovery period. I've not, not gone to the gym five days a week for a really long time. I've not been dependent on other people for a really long time. And this idea of not being able to lift more than two kilos or being restricted to this sort of movement freaks me out a little bit because I'm a control freak and I won't be in control at least for a couple of weeks um, during that initial recovery period. Again, I was nervous to go into that first appointment and meet my surgeon. I was excited when I left. Excited's the wrong word. It was like giddy, it was a, a giddy feeling, but going to that appointment, I was scared coming out. I was like, okay, well, this is something that needs to be done. 
and then I went to my appointment a couple of weeks ago and again it was okay this is something that needs to be done um, but it doesn't feel like it's the be all and end all for me and I've said it before my chest doesn't cause me that much dysphoria that I couldn't live with it what I am looking forward to is not wearing a fucking binder every day is not getting dysphoric about people knowing what I'm wearing underneath. None of my shirts really cover it unless I get super high necked shirts. So seeing this sort of thing in the mirror um, or when I go out and noticing that this bit is showing on my neck, that makes me dysphoric. It makes me feel like people are watching me and they know and they know that I'm not a real man because I don't have a real man's chest. So in that aspect, yes, I want top surgery, um, which is why I'm going and getting top surgery but it's not like I couldn't live with my body. I just don't want to. To me, it feels like it's something that needs to be done more than something I'm super excited about getting done. It just should already be there. So now I'm going and correcting that and to be the way that I can, to walk outside in a white shirt and not worry about what people are seeing underneath, to feel fabric on my skin, like on my actual skin, not on another piece of material that's holding everything together. Anyway, this was rambly. Um, that's okay. I just wanted to let you know that it is okay to not be super stoked and to not be super excited. It's your journey and it's your story and however you feel it is okay. If you are super stoked that you are going or you're getting top surgery, hell yeah. I feel for you and good on you. Um, I'm not one of those people. I am going to go in on Tuesday and I'm scared about going in on Tuesday and I'm happy that I'm going in on Tuesday, but I'm not jumping over the moon excited for it. And that's okay. It's a different, it's a different perspective. That's enough from me. Um, like I said, I just wanted to let you know that it's okay. If you're not super excited and you're like me and you're sort of older than your teenage years and you're looking at all these steps that you need to take and rather than getting overwhelmed, just being like, I'm just correcting what has been wrong this whole time. And I'm not excited about it. It's just something that needs to be done. Anyway, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for listening to The Rambling. If you liked it, then give it, well, chords. If you liked it, give it one of these. If you want to see more of my stuff, um, rambling and honesty, just click my face. If you don't like it, that's okay. There are other channels for you to watch. Okay, bye. Yay, we're done.